Hi, I'm Rosalind Utley Moore, nutritionist, and I'm here at Cyanotech, Kona, Hawaii, and I'm about to interview Bob Capelli, the world leader on astaxanthin. They produce astaxanthin and grow it here as well. So the most important question I'm going to be asking Bob today is how it crosses the blood-brain barrier and the retinal barrier. So come on in with me and hear what an expert's got to say about astaxanthin. Hi, I'm Bob Capelli from Cyanotech Corporation and wanted to talk today about astaxanthin and its effects on the brain and the eyes. And uh, doing this on behalf of our trusted um, partner in Australia, Microorganics, uh, who's been carrying our spirulina for many years and just started with our astaxanthin recently as soon as it got approved by the Australian uh, Therapeutic Goods Administration. So astaxanthin uh, has been shown to be able to get into the brain and eyes. A lot of very good antioxidants and anti-inflammatories cannot do that. Uh, vitamin C and E cannot do that. Uh, beta carotene cannot do that. Lycopene, another good carotenoid antioxidant, cannot get into the brain and eyes. Astaxanthin does. Once it's in there, it's providing its incredible antioxidant, antioxidant potency and also its anti-inflammatory activity to protect these vital organs. Uh, we've seen some great human clinical trials showing a great ability of astaxanthin to help these organs. For example, uh, there have been now 10 different human clinical studies showing that astaxanthin can help uh, with tired eyes, fatigued eyes. People say on your computer all day and you get home and you just don't want to read, you don't want to do anything. Astaxanthin actually helps to uh, reduce eye fatigue and also to help prevent it. Two different ways to measure this. Uh, also with visual acuity, the ability to see fine detail. There's only been one clinical study on that, but it did have a very positive result. Uh, brain health, there were, have been some studies showing that astaxanthin can actually potentially help prevent age-related dementia. And so these are things that anyone who cares about protecting these organs as they age should really strongly consider using astaxanthin on a daily basis as a preventative measure.